Oh yeah. Oh no. Okay. Die. You die too. And there is one spooky scary skeleton. Oh, there's another one. There it is. <sighs> I'm gonna die now. But that's okay. And boom, beacon. Hello there everybody. So I'm back and as you can see I've been busy doing all sorts of stuff and I'm working on my new setup. So this is an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 6 core processor. So I'm quite pleased with this because now the game isn't lagging anymore. And yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. The frame rate is looking pretty good and I'm recording right now on full resolution. So that's that's pretty cool as well. So if you've been watching this series for some time now, you probably know what's under here. And you should know I made a beautiful time lapse. Except I didn't. Because, yeah, I was messing around with the settings on OBS. And for some reason, it first it, I, I recorded an intro and it wasn't recording my voice. And it was recording the computer audio twice so it had a really really strange sound so that didn't work and then I recorded the time lapse which went wrong as well so I'm just hoping that this one comes out right because this is taking a lot of time anyway uh, so I've been busy over here as well let's see if I can yeah I'm alive Okay, so here you can see I have some gunpowder, some arrows, glowstone dust, etc, etc. And I've been taking out some some of the stuff already. But, uh, yeah. Let's just see where it all ends up. It comes up here through a bubble elevator, then goes into that chest. And this is all just for backup. Just when I take anything out of this, it will, you know... It will automatically fill up with something else so that's that's quite nice we still need some item filters but i'm i'm trying to think of a way to get an item filter in here because this is really really tiny maybe it's just to filter out the the gunpowder because this is primarily a gunpowder farm but i'm not sure so yeah so I've been doing that, and I've been using all the bone I got from that farm for bone blocks, which I used to make this. So it stands out a little bit because it's white, and I'm not quite sure if I like it, but you know, it's um, at least it's closed off for mobs, so it doesn't get in the way of the the minecarts and everything. So I'm quite happy with that. But beside that, I have been collecting some of the uh, gunpowder to make rockets so I'm now really really well um, supplied with rockets so we have some extra bone blocks in here we still have to take some bones out of a chest downstairs to change them into bone blocks so we can put them here and I made a little list so now it's 
now it's getting interesting. So I made a little list here. We need an iron farm, a creeper farm. Well, we already have the creeper farm, so we can take that out. I mean, it's not really a creeper farm, but it's a creeper farm. So we need to improve the gold farm. We make we need to make a storage system and a pillager farm, which is something that was suggested by one of the viewers. So, of course, we're going to do something with that somewhere in the near future. So, yeah. But basically, I've been... Yeah. I have a bit of a conundrum because the tutorial videos are actually doing pretty well compared to the Let's Play series. Uh, but I really enjoy making the Let's Play series. So, I'm... Yeah, I'm kind of divided on that topic, if you know what I mean. Oh, by the way, we have a little fox in here that that just accidentally came in here. So, if if we find you a little friend, we're going to breed a fox. But right now it just wants to run away. Anyway, um, so there's lots and lots of stuff in here as well. We still have to sort all oh there are, there are the bones we still have to f what was that sound anyway uh, we still have to fix all those bones so yeah but one thing one thing we have to do is make a storage system so i suppose that is one of those things that would be perfect for time lapse so i guess we're going to make a time lapse of me at least putting down the chests and some some Wait a minute, I don't have enough iron for a... Okay, so first we're going to need an iron farm. <laughs> because if I don't have an iron farm, we don't, we don't have enough uh, stuff to make the storage system. Because we need a lot of iron for all the hoppers and everything. And yeah, so that's going to be... This is going to be priority number one. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, so before we're going to make the iron farm, I decided I needed a little villager breeder. So I based this design off of uh, Impulse SV's design and uh, I had to fiddle around a bit, give them a job and everything and then suddenly they would breed and otherwise they wouldn't, so that's a bit weird. But uh, yeah, so it's working now and I just feed them the carrots manually. In the original design there is actually a farm here with a farmer on it that will feed these guys um, some carrots, but yeah, this works just fine for my purposes right now. I might even extend it at, at some point. I mean, I can just add a farm over here or something, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's quite late at night, so I'm just gonna go to bed and probably watch a couple of YouTube videos on the best iron farms and uh, I'll return to recording tomorrow okay so it's the next morning and I'm just having a little look around how to do this I've been watching a couple of tutorials and the one I am actually most fond of is the one by Doc M and it's based on someone else's design, can't remember the name. But uh, yeah, so this is what we're gonna make. So yeah, let's start the time lapse.
So after a lot of trying and a lot of failure actually and a lot of falling and some dying, I actually managed to get this guy in here and he took my minecart. So there's only one thing we can really do, isn't there? So let's see. By the way, there's something weird going on because now I have double my stuff because I'm using two computers and one to record and then I'm switching to the other one and for some reason stuff is going wrong so yeah I mean I suppose it's a game mechanic so it's not really it's not really cheating but there should be a name tag in here but apparently there's not Okay, so I'll just have to quickly get a name tag. Or is it in here? Oh, it's in here. Yes. Yes. No. Bugger off. Okay. I'll sleep first. Okay. Ah. Oh. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Yes. Awesome. Okay, let's get up there. Oops. Okay. And hope I don't get knocked off by one of those guys. Okay. So, we're going to name you... Eric Cartman. Because you stole my cart. Anyway. Uh... We got some other stuff to do here. So this is going to be the platform where the iron golems will spawn. And there's going to be a villager, a group of villagers here and a group of villagers over there. And so this, this should actually give some quite, some pretty decent rates. But it's been taking so long already just to get this guy in here. But anyway. Yeah. Back to work. Okay guys, well, this is 1.16, or, well, it's the snapshot, and I think I've just invented the most, well, the simplest iron farm ever. This is the basic concept. So, you basically just use the, the same kind of uh, setup as you would for a villager spawner, and... The nice thing about that is that you can even begin with two villagers and then breed them until you have four. So you don't have to take all four up there. But that's probably something you can always do. Anyway, um, so this is this is all there is to it. I mean, you don't need these blocks. It's just this. Okay, so when it's night time, they sleep. So... Um, time set and let's just say night oops time set night there we go and they go to sleep and time set day and they wake up and because there is a block under here this this block of this lapis block has water on top of it so if you put a slab here, and the slab would actually be, make villagers be able to look over these um, these trap doors, but uh, they won't spawn on the slab after they've slept. So instead, they want to spawn on a on a block that's on the same level as the bed is. So that would be this block. But they don't check it for water, and the water is what makes them bob. So. When they're bobbing all the time, like this, they can see the zombie, and then they spawn one of these guys. So let me just show you, because it's really, really easy. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Okay. I'm going to spawn a zombie in this, in this cauldron. go and let's see 
how long it's going to take for them. Probably a, around 10 or 20 seconds, something like that. It shouldn't be longer than 20 seconds. Oh, there is one. See? So this is really, really good. This is really nice. So and now I'm going to use this in my new iron farm. And it works so well because in 1.16, that's just something I recently learned, you don't actually need the workstations. So you can just use the trap doors and, and the beds and you're done. So that is really, really good. That's really good. I'm really happy about that. Okay, well, anyway, back to the build. Okay guys, I had to make a couple of little adjustments, but now it's working perfectly. And it really is so simple to build. I mean, I made a I made a couple of little little mistakes, uh like um because I'm in a icy biome, I had to put some glowstone under the water instead of just a regular block and more stuff like that. And yeah, now it's working pretty well so yeah these guys get scared because of that zombie then iron golems spawn they fall down into this and then I have a little water stream let's see if I can show you that a little better I have a little water stream going in there so it's basically two levels high I have three hoppers two of them go into that hopper so this one goes into that one that one goes into that one some signs here on the higher level then signs here on the lower level lava in between and we're done so it's actually working problem free now so that's nice that's nice and let's see how well we're doing. Almost two stacks. So this is going pretty well. I should probably do some sort of benchmark. But it's, uh, yeah. There are golems falling down all the time. So I'm pretty positive it has 
pretty good rates. It's good enough for me anyway. So I suppose if I leave this running overnight, I'm going to have so much iron, I, I wouldn't even know what to do with it. So, yeah. Time for the next thing we have to do, which is... Okay, so we had to make an iron farm. We did that. Okay, so we need to improve the gold farm because I switched to 1.16. Well, the snapshot anyway. So the gold farm I have right now is not going to work. As a matter of fact, we, we can check that out next episode or we can work on the storage system. So it's probably going to be one of these two. It's not going to be this one yet because I still have to work out how that works. Um, but storage system or gold farm or maybe both. We'll see. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you, if you want to have a tutorial on the iron farm, I'm very glad to do so because... I basically just took out all the little flaws that, that were still left, so yeah. It's it's really it's really something. It's quite different from the original design it was based on, so it's it's basically a whole new type of farm. And it's only possible in 1.16, so it's it's not if you're running 1.15.2 or or whatever. It's not going to work, because then the villagers need to work in order to be able to um, to uh, spawn iron golems. So, yeah, this is, a, this is a new design, and it only works for the newest version. Anyway, again, thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe, and don't, for don't forget to give me a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.